One of my pet peeves is an indirect request like, can I get a scalpel or what's the blood pressure? I call it asking the room instead of asking a person. I feel like it's often compounded by standards of what's considered a polite way of asking something. Yeah, but in medicine, we should break through these boundaries by being direct and open. It's like Flight 8509 that crashed in 1999. In this instance, the co-pilot warning light went off when the plane was banking too much, but the cockpit recording shows a remarkable lack of anyone speaking up to tell the pilot that they were overcompensating for the maneuver. Some attribute this to an earlier interaction where the co-pilot spoke up and was derided, making it less likely that later they would speak up, even when their own life was on the line. So how do you communicate in the operating room when you notice someone from the surgical team is doing something that maybe you consider unsafe? Well, it can be really challenging because we work with a lot of different groups, like up in endoscopy or an intensive care unit or in the operating room, and we may have different communication styles in each of those environments. But I always keep in mind that we are one team when it comes to the patient. I try to be polite but still direct, and especially when thinking or communicating something that I'm concerned about. So, for example, if a surgery is about to happen on the wrong side, that's a situation where I do not just give hints. I remember once I was teaching a junior doctor how to do an infant lumbar puncture, and the ER technician who was helping to position the baby for the procedure went wide-eyed, um, you know, staring at me to try to get my attention. But I, I really couldn't tell what he was trying to say, so I, I asked him in the middle of the procedure what was up, and he sort of, like, still just, like, looked at the needle and, like, um, you know, made a noise. And, and that's when I noticed one of the critical pieces was missing, uh, which, you know, of course, we would not have been able to complete the procedure successfully. Wow, that sounds like it was a pretty close call. Yeah, I mean, I was really glad he spoke up. Uh, but at the same time, I asked him, you know, why wasn't he more direct? And, um, you know, his response was that he, he was used to the fact that a lot of doctors might be upset in the past, you know, if he tried to, to interfere in the middle of a procedure. So, I mean, at least, you know, for me, I made it crystal clear, you know, next time or any time he sees me about to do something really stupid, <laughs> I mean, even if he's not sure, you know, is it the right thing or not, he should have no qualms about calling it out directly and just, you know, being really specific with me. We hope you keep these examples in mind as you go through the next set of activities.